Today I just wanted to share, um, I've been studying, reading Daniel again, and man, I just, I love this book, but this, this part stood out to me from the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and this is after um, Daniel had interpreted the dream of the, the statue that had the golden head and the silver chest and the bronze, you know, I don't remember exactly what it was, but then the iron toes that were clay and uh, iron mixed together. But And then Nebuchadnezzar, you know, he goes and he builds this huge golden statue, which, you know, I heard someone else say, you know, he was making a point to say, my kingdom's never going to end because Daniel had interpreted that dream and said that uh, the head of gold was, was him. So then he makes this gold statue and he tells everybody he has to worship and and people point out that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not um, worshiping and he tells them, hey, you better bow down and worship otherwise I'm going to throw you in the burning furnace and who's going to deliver you out of my hand? And then Shadrach, we'll start in verse 16, chapter 3. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. If it is so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to the king that we will not serve your gods, nor worship the golden image which you have set up. I just, man, I just love it that they, you know, it's important to have faith in what God is able to do. But it's also important to be able to say, even if he chooses not to, it doesn't change. You know, like they said, we know God is able to deliver us from the burning f fiery furnace and he will save us. But even if he doesn't, we still doesn't, we still aren't going to bow down, you know? Like, you know, just we sometimes we we think we know God's will and we know exactly what he's going to do. And, and sometimes even, you know, we forget that he has something better planned for us that, that that's not here. Like, like, for instance, if someone, you know, I, I went and laid hands on probably three people in the last two years in the ICU um, that died, you know, and they were young, you know, under 30, one was even, you know, 25, uh, just random. And I, you know, believe in they're going to live, you know, and telling people like God's going to heal them. And, and he didn't, you know, and it, and it really made me wrestle with some things. And it was like, you know, death is, is okay for a believer, you know, I mean, it's not good for an unbeliever, but it's good for a believer. It's, it's something we should be looking forward to. And God, you know, if he chooses to spare us from suffering now, or, you know, from some affliction, then to his glory for, for other men to see and, and repent, like, like Nebuchadnezzar and them got to see the salvation that God wrought. But if not, it, it it's still we're still saved you know what i mean like either way we're saved from the affliction whether we whether we d are saved from it physically here or if we're saved from it physically when we die <laughs> you know it like it, death is another form of salvation if if we really believe because you know we're looking forward to eternal life so it's important to have wisdom um like shadrach meshach and abednego do here like we can believe and have faith that God is able to heal and save and, and do miraculous things in the earth. But at the end of the day, if he doesn't, it doesn't change anything about him. And it doesn't change whether or not we can stand firm and be uncompromising and, and not, you know, and not worship him. We have to worship God no matter what he chooses to do <laughs> because he's good. And he's got a good reason for whatever he does. So let's have faith and wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen.